Rainbows are beautiful, right? I personally too love the colors that rainbows give. So I searched on Google for an experiment that relates to rainbows and could also apply the principles of science. At first, I wanted to do the flame test, but it uses fire which is dangerous. And I found this simple and harmless experiment that piqued my interest. So today, I, Altea Graciela C. Bagares, will be presenting you how to make the Walking Water Experiment Rainbow Edition. First, we'll need transparent plastic cups, paper towels, red, yellow, blue food coloring, and water. First, we must place six of our plastic cups in a clean table. Two, after placing them, we'll pour down the first, third, and the fifth cup with water until it reaches the center. Three, the next thing we'll do is to add some food coloring in our water solution. Red for the first cup, yellow on the third cup, and blue for the fifth cup, then stir thoroughly. Four. Next, get your paper towels and well fold them into strips like these. Five. Then we're gonna place one end of the paper towel strip into the colored water. And the other end into the empty cup. A few minutes later. Let it sit there four minutes and see the magic happen. Fifteen minutes later. One hour later. After an hour, it should look like this. The water continued to walk from the primary colored cups to fill the empty cups with the secondary colors. How did this kind of phenomenon happen? This experiment is based on the process called capillary action. The principle of capillary action states the ability of a liquid to flow upward against gravity in narrow spaces. The same phenomenon also happens when water climbs from a plant's roots to the leaves in the treetops. Paper towels are made of cellulose. Cellulose make the plant stiff and upright. It absorbs water from the roots to the leaves. The gaps in the towel acted like capillary tubes, pulling the water upwards. In conclusion, the water is able to defy gravity as it travels upward due to the attractive forces between the water on the cellulose fibers which mix the primary color so make secondary colors. Hope you learned something from me today. That's all and thanks for watching.